Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I asked recently on Instagram and on my Facebook group, which if you're not a part of those, the link's down below. I asked if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I shared where I wanted to go. I wanna travel, but I don't have the money to fly all around the world. And I've also been feeling like I've been in a cooking rut. Have you ever felt that way? If you have, leave me a comment down below. I mean, I feel like I cook the same things over and over and over and I want to get out of my comfort zone. Y'all know, I love a good challenge. So, I have an idea. I am going to be doing a eating around the world on a budget series. I'm actually gonna be doing hopefully multiple episodes of this if you guys like it. So you gotta hit that thumbs up if you like it so that I know that you do. And for each episode, I'm going to blindly draw one of those countries and then I'm gonna to have to research a recipe, come up with a recipe, go see how cheap I can get the ingredients, <clears throat> cook it up for my family and give y'all a taste test to see what I think. Now, some of these are safe. They're safe, they're things that I've eaten before. But y'all, I threw in some wild cards. I threw in some wild cards. And I'm kinda nervous about it. So, that's the plan. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my content, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that bell and it'll notify you every time I post a new video. Okay, so I have all of my little flags and envelopes. These are security envelopes. I can't see through them, see? Can't see. And I've mixed them up, I've shuffled them. And we're gonna draw one we're today. We're gonna draw from our 12 countries. I'm nervous, shuffled them up. I'm not looking, I'm just picking. I'm gonna pick one from the middle of the pot. So you wanna pick this one. <laughs> Open it up, see it's a security envelope. I got England. All right, let's see what kind of British food we can come up with. Let's go. One thing that I do wanna say is I am no trained chef. I have not been professionally trained. I have not stepped one toe into England or anywhere in the UK. And so this is probably not gonna be authentic. I'm gonna try to do it on a budget. So I'm using these food culture videos as an inspiration to get me out of a food rut and just have fun with it, you know? So I am not trying to insult any food culture at all. If anything, your food culture has just inspired me to expand my food culture. So let's just have fun with this video and let's see what we come up with. Okay, y'all, so we are back from the store. It has got hot here in the Carolinas. Has spring sprung where you live. I know this is not gonna be like authentic, but this is my take on bangers and mash. I went to the store. I spent about $12 on this meal, but it's going to feed five today. So here's what I got. I got four big russet potatoes. I'm gonna be using that for the mash. I got an onion and some brown gravy mix. I probably could have made my own gravy, but thought I would take the easy way out. And most of you probably have the potatoes and onions and maybe some brown gravy mix in your cabinet. So anyway, we're taking the easy way out on that. I wasn't sure what kind of sausages to get for the bangers. So I tried to research. I looked at what we had in my store and this was the best I could come up with. So I don't, I don't think it's like legit what you would get if you were in England but we're gonna use it, we're gonna make it work. And so I just got some beer brats. Brats beer, bratwurst, I don't know. I got some of this. So the total for all of this was 12, around $12. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get our potatoes peeled, get them going on the stove for the mash, and then I will show you what we're going to do with our bangers.
Now that I have my potatoes going for the mash, I'm gonna take these thinly sliced onions and saute those in a little bit of olive oil in a skillet. Once the onions have caramelized, I am going to remove those and I'm going to be using this same pan to put the sausages in. So I am going to be needing to add a little bit more oil to the pan. And I saw a tip online that um, said to take a toothpick and just pierce the casings on the sausage so that the sausages do not burst. I'm not sure if that's actually something I'm supposed to do, but that's what I had seen. So that's what I did. So I have put these sausages in my skillet and I'm just going to be getting a good sear on all sides of the sausages. Once we have a sear on the sausages, I'm going to turn my heat down to low and I'm going to then cover so that the sausage can cook through. You want the sausage to cook to an internal temperature of 160 degrees. Once that has reached temperature, I'm going to be removing the sausage from the skillet and making the brown gravy right in the skillet. I'm going to take the sausage drippings, I'm going to pour the brown gravy mix in, and then I'm going to be adding in one cup of water and giving this a good stir until the gravy has come together. Once my gravy has come together, I'm gonna take those caramelized onions and add those back to the gravy. And I'm gonna give this a stir and then we're gonna be ready to finish up this dish. Now I've got my potatoes drained. I have put a couple tablespoons of butter into the potatoes and I'm just gonna be using my masher to mash up these potatoes. I will be adding about a splash of milk and some extra salt. Okay, so here is the finished plate, my bangers and mash. Looks pretty good, I'm serving it with a side of peas. But you can see the sausage there with the onion gravy and the mashed potatoes. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's give it a taste. Here we go. Eating a dish from England. Bangers and mash. All right, let's give it a taste. All right, here we go. We got potatoes, the mash, the onion gravy, and some sausage. That's pretty good. Very hearty. So that is our meal from England, inspired by English food. My take on bangers and mash. It's really good, really feeling, really hearty. If you like this series and you are interested in seeing more, please give me a thumbs up. That tells me that you're liking the content that you are seeing on my channel. If you haven't already thought about it, subscribe. It helps me out so much. So to get ready for the next episode, let's draw our next country. I've got a helper today. Mr. Aaron is going to help me pick my next envelope. I have no idea which country we're going to pick. Kind of nervous because some of these foods I have never even tried. So pick an envelope. Mm. Okay. Go ahead and open it up. Let's see what we've got. Oh, India. that was the one I'm afraid of. What is it? India. India. Looks like we're going to be cooking some Indian food. I don't know what we're going to be making because I've never eaten Indian food. This was the one I was the most afraid of. So Aaron got to hand me that card. <laughs> he dealt me the card. All right. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.